Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Saturday, June 24th, 2023. And today, I've got another quick little video for you. Today, I wanna to install this air pump. Um, here's another view of that air pump. That's everything we're gonna be installing. Now, in a previous video, you know, I've done some stuff on this already. You know, I wanna thank you guys for subscribing. You know, that's the best way you can support this uh, project, support me. Um, you know, I'm moving ahead. I'm, I'm starting to get a lot of subscribers, so I'm, I'm glad about that. You know, share and click the bell and all that kind of stuff because I'm gonna be trying to start this vehicle live on YouTube. And I can imagine if we could just have a great big old party, right? I'm not gonna be able to do a video for you guys tomorrow. I've gotta to rip my wife's BMW apart. Yeah, a thermostat went out on there. And when the thermostat went, it overheated and it blew the tank and you know the expansion tank so i'm doing all that tomorrow that's kind of an easy job in a way and it's going to take some time but it's easy you guys i'm going to put a link in the description i i could not believe this when i saw this a week or two ago on tassos's youtube channel on changing a thermostat you got in a mercedes <laughs> you will be blown away by the complexity and everything that's involved just to change a thermostat. So let's just get started here. Uh, this is the air pump and the air pump bracket. I'm just gonna install it as a complete unit like this. There's a video that I've already done about this as I've replaced the clutch here. But anyway, I replaced that, we torqued that all down, we tested the pump in that video, and I've got a link to that video right up here. This right here is called the shutoff valve. And on that shutoff valve, there is this vacuum connection right there. And then that little part on there connects to your hose. This is the color of my hose. I feel that this is original. I can't find this. If I can't find this, I'm gonna figure out a way that I can actually make my own. Uh, I pressure tested this one so I know the hose is okay, but it's, you know, it's hard and brittle just like all of them get. But that's where that will go. On the other side right here, you've got this. And here's your crazy hose, okay? You know, like I said, when you use genuine Mercedes, Mercedes gives you these lineup points so you know that that's how it goes and then this bent end like this will actually go on there. There is a total of five secure points. You've got these two here that's going to be attached to the front cover plate and then you've got this one right here and then you've got these two right here and those attached to the bottom. You'll see as I go to install it exactly how it goes. Before I take this over to the engine, I want to show you how I have these clamps. If anyone knows where to get these clamps, let me know. I haven't been able to source the proper ones. I think these are what came with it, but it has a 27 on the smaller ones, and the bigger one here is a 30. That's what it says actually on the, on the back side of these, the opposite side of the squish there. Notice how I have these because before you go to the vehicle, you'll need that. Like I, I have this obviously slid past and it's halfway up. Um, that's just gonna make it easy to install it. And uh, also this one here is pointing down, right? These are pointing this way. And it's important later, it'll just be easier. The tools you're gonna need for the job is in my case, I'm gonna use a little petroleum jelly, putting it just on the inside of the tubing. I don't have some special tools for those clamps, but this seems to work pretty good. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket. A short extension, a long extension. A 19 millimeter open end, for the adjustment part of the, for adjusting your belt, I'm not gonna put the belt on right now, 
but you'll need that. I like to mark my bolts after I torque them. You'll need a torque wrench capable of 25 Newton meters. Let's head on over to the engine. First thing I gotta do is remove these two. You notice I put a blue mark on it and these are aftermarket little bolts because the original bolts are on the pump. So I'm gonna remove these. After removing these, you know, I went ahead and cleaned them out because there's a little bit of uh, sealant from when we put the front cover on. So let's talk about how to put this thing on here. This is a mounting point. What you wanna do is just, you know, put this on and bring it in to a little bit wider than the opening of that bracket right there because that really is the easiest way to, to start this is to just line that up and just set it on there like that. Then you can come back up to the front and drop in a bolt. Then come back and get one of these down here. Those are your 10 millimeters. There we go. Put in your other one here. Both of those bolts are the same length. There's two of these down here. Don't tighten these yet. The, the most important ones right now is the front timing cover part. Right up here, these two. They need to be torqued to 25 Newton meters to start with. This one on the back side is uh, not, you know, once, once the front is torqued, we'll, we'll, pop, we'll bring this in for, for a torque. But right now, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna just give it a snug up real quick. There are no, no torque specifications for this, but we do know that, uh, you know, the front timing cover is 25 Newton meters. So that's what we're using, and we've already torqued it to that once already with the temporary bolts. So um, as usual, you know, I'm not gonna just crank it to crank it up. I'm gonna, you know, bring it to 10, you know, and then 15 and then so on. So I'll catch you on the last one. Final one right now, set to 25 Newton meters. There we go, 25.2 is what it is. And it was for the other one as well. Now I will torque this one down to 25 Newton meters. There we go, 25.3. So now you can snug these up. And again, there's no torque specifications so I'm going to use this here. So according to this, an M6, which is what these are, it'd be 9.9. .9. Um, I have my little torque wrench, which is, I'm telling you guys, this is the torque wrench I love. And I have this set to 9.5 Newton meters. I, again, you know, you could just snug this up. I just love this tool, so I wanna use it. And I'm gonna mark my bolts like I always do. Just as an indicator that I did it. The next thing I would do would be put on my vacuum hose. Now the vacuum hose actually is gonna be coming in through this way and connect onto the bottom right there of this. That's why I said, I think now is the time to connect this. Make sure you push that all the way up. All right, like I said, it's gonna come up through there like that. And I'll just bring it up to the top for now. Next, I'm gonna connect this. Again, I've already put a little bit of petroleum jelly on there. So it should just go right on. <laughs> Wasn't that nice. And then this is the time that we're gonna put this on there. So I found this not that difficult with these. Try to get a good grip and a good view for the camera. Mm. 
There we go. Vacuum lines in, hose is in. Let's put this hose on. Goes on the same way. And again, you know, orientation of where you put this is important so you can get to it later if you need to. So I would probably put that one at an angle there so you can get it from the bottom. We'll see if it's gonna be easy this way or not. There we go. Well, I'm fully torqued in, got these all torqued, they're marked, everything's hooked up. I think that that's the way it was done, you guys. I mean, that's it, that's all there is to it. You guys know where that 13 goes? Watch my engine removal videos and you'll find out. <laughs> but this cord will go up around here as well, and all this is gonna go up there. For now, you guys, thanks again for watching.